Hey, friends. How's it going? Oh, man. Oh, man. This is a big video for me. I don't know how long it's going to go, but... And I know I'm so, so late to the uh, tier list fad, but um, I'm here. I'm here rating all the duels on TV from episode one to episode nine. Again, I'm not sure if you know or not, but S tier is perfect. Wouldn't change anything to it. It's amazing. D tier for me is literally the worst of the worst like it, it it can't get any worse than this fight um i have done a longer video than this with moose where i'm giving them all one out of five instead of rating them you know in tears so i'll try to remember to put that one in the description down below but anyway this this video is uh it is indeed a video <laughs> So, without any further ado, let us get into it. And we start, oh gosh, okay. We start with Finn versus the Trooper. Now, or T8, T-R-8-R, Traitor. It made a meme. That's cool. That's fun. That's great. You love memes. But also, why is a janitor able to take up a dude who's trained in this weapon for how long and also did not know that a lightsaber was a lightsaber when Maz says you have a weapon, but then somehow is able to turn it on and, and go crazy with it. No. And this fight really, because I know a lot of people are like, well, he had the force. Like, no, there was no indication that Finn had the force up until episode nine. So what we're doing is we're putting that one down in D tier. Awful. I can't stand it. I hate it. Ray versus Kylo on Star Killer Base. This one again. If they would have just, I feel this fight would have been justified more if they would have, throughout the movie, given us tips and hints that Ray is force sensitive. But they don't do that until about the third act when Ray just flips a switch and suddenly is in the torture chair and is mind tricking people. She had no idea. And then fast forward to the fight. She randomly is like the force. When Kylo says, you need a teacher, I can show you the ways of the force. He says, she says the force and then goes beast mode. Yes. I know that Kylo is injured. Yes. I know he wasn't a hundred percent. I get it. All good. All great. Those are your reasons. This fight going in D tier. It could have been so much more had they given us hints and droplets that Ray is force sensitive and as well as shown us that Ray knows how to use her staff better than just thwacking a guy across the face on Jakku. If she would have had to get in more fights or we see like essentially her morning wake up workout routine where she's training on this and spinning her light or spinning her staff around. It's like, okay, cool. If you can work with a bow staff, I'm sure you can work with a sword. But they didn't do that. Next, we have Qui-Gon versus Maul on Tatooine. This one's eh to me. It was really cool seeing Maul and Qui-Gon fight on Tatooine. The story and the mystery behind Maul was really, really great. Um, but I'm putting this one here in B tier. It was maybe what, a 20 second fight, but it was also so cool seeing them kick up the dust, the lightsabers swinging in the dust. I thought that was really cool. There's also an extended clip where Darth Maul jumps onto the uh, the land or the, the the ramp of Padme's ship before they fly off. Um, Kylo versus Luke. I had again had they had changed the ending of the movie to be Luke survives and. Had they done one little thing, which was, oh, switch from the Graflex to the Thin Neck, because not even 20 minutes before we had seen Ray and Kylo break <laughs> Anakin's saber. So that, that that there, I think I went and saw it with, with Forrest when we went to the theater. I can't remember if it was this or a different movie, but I was like, wait a second, that something's not right. Luke's hair looks different. And he's using a lightsaber that literally just broke. 
I, I don't know. I think, too, it would have been crazy and invoked more anger into Kylo if he had the green lightsaber, which is the one that Luke was standing over him with. So I'm putting this one down in D tier. The visuals for this, amazing. If Luke would, you know, if Luke would have survived, because I was fine with it being a uh, projection, right? Cool. But if Luke would have survived and then we spend the rest of the, or the, the ninth movie, not the whole ninth movie, of him training Ray and after, I could go into crazy with it, but I won't. I'm putting it in D tier. They handled it terribly. Ryan Johnson, what are you doing? Django versus Obi-Wan. While it did look amazing and it, it, it was cool seeing a Mandalorian versus a Jedi, this one wasn't even a duel. It wasn't even a duel because I don't know why it's on this list, but it wasn't a duel. While it was cool, it's going in C tier. It just really, I don't know. Like it wasn't, a, it wasn't a duel. Finn versus Kylo. Same issue I have with him against the, 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 the baton trooper, whatever you want to call him. Why is Finn lasting this long against Kylo Ren? No tier for you kylo versus R kylo and ray versus the praetorian guards okay so i already know i already know there's a bunch of people who are gonna say well what about the continuity error with the knife and all that stuff this one showcases for me at least that when ben is a hundred percent he wipes the floor with everybody literally in the room two it was nice that we got confirmation that ray is not a great swordsman she's just not She's not. I also really loved when she throws the saber to Ben. He just turns it. That's like that. You cannot tell me that that is not an Anakin Skywalker move right there. The, the Anakin would not do that. So for me, with as much controversy as there is around this fight, I still really enjoy when I see it out of the storytelling co context. Just seeing Kylo handle all those all those guards. It's 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 going C tier for me. It's not amazing, but it's 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 not terrible for, to me either. Um, Dooku versus Yoda. This one was great. Uh, Master and Apprentice going toe to toe. Master obviously having the upper hand. Um, I thought it was good. It was kind of like people say, kind of Looney Tunes. Yoda flipping around out of nowhere. But also, it's the first time we get to see Yoda. Like, that, that can't be matched. Uh, so I'm putting that one. It's not one of my favorites. It is pretty cool, though. I'm, I'm, putting, it, I'm putting it in B tier. Palpatine versus Windu. Now, this one, for me, I, I'm, I'm torn in half for the simple fact that, if you know, there is so much on the cutting room floor of this fight. There is so much that we did not get with this with this fight that makes it so much more painful. This fight, seeing finally seeing Mace Windu go toe to toe with someone else with a lightsaber was so cool. And Ian McDermott doing his own fighting throughout the fight. He wasn't him 100% of the time, but and especially when Mace Windu flips his light, twirls his lightsaber, breaks the glass. Ah. Uh, Amazing, but not greatest of all time. Not greatest of all time, but it does deserve to be an A tier. Anakin versus Obi-Wan. And I want to say, is this Obi-Wan and Anakin versus Dooku? Or is this one just Anakin versus Dooku? Because that's, that's the frame I have. Either way, this fight is okay to me. The only reason I'm not going to list it higher than I, than I, than I want to is because... When Anakin cuts the, the cord and the lights go out, it's just them swinging the lightsabers around. Um, up until then, when Anakin's going akimbo, when we see that, that's cool. I think that's completely sick. But it is held back by that weird thingamabobber. So I'm going to put that one. That one goes in C tier. It's not, again, it's not worst of the worst. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought I put in D tier for a second. It's not worst of the worst, but it's half of it was just in the dark and it they weren't doing anything now we get anakin and obi-wan versus dooku to me this mo this movie this duel 
is amazing because we see at the end of it, Anakin struggle between the dark and the light, the manipulation of Palpatine. We see Anakin try to cut off. We, we see him cut off Dooku's hands the way he'll later try to cut off Obi-Wan's hands. The, the choreography in this amazing. I absolutely love it. Twice the pride, double the fall, the rematch, Anakin versus Dooku. Uh, great. That one, A tier for me. Kylo versus Rey, Death Star Ruins. This one for me. Whoops, I didn't grab it. Why didn't I grab it? What happened? What's going on here? Even my computer doesn't want to deal with it. There we go. Take your rightful place along, along your family members. D tier for that one. Simple fact is A, there's no memorable score on a finale duel. There is no good choreography. While there is continuity there, which is good, where you see Ray actually get tired, switch to a more defensive defensive stance. And also, it's proven that Ben is stronger than her, which there was no doubt. But also, what's the motive for them fighting, right? Anakin and Obi-Wan in episode three are fighting because Anakin believes he turned Obi-Wan turned Padme against him and he has to kill Obi-Wan to save Padme, right? There's some, there's some crazy stuff going on there in Ray versus Kylo. They're fighting because Ray got pissed that Kylo broke the wayfinder when she knew that there were two of them somewhere where there's another one somewhere. This fight while again, it does paint Kylo in a good light and a dope light. Again, the choreography was eh, not memorable. There's not one memorable thing about this fight other than Han showing up at the end of it and Leia sacrificing herself because they had to write her off the movie. Probably one of the worst next to this one. Finn versus Phasma. <sighs> I was I same thing as these two. Why is he holding his own against Phasma? It while it was cool to see Phasma do some work finally, you get to go here, right? These just uh, they just have their storytelling is just uh Ray versus Kylo on Kajimi. Now, I'm ranking this one higher than I thought I would because the premise of this one and the storytelling, the sound design, the visuals, how if you go back and watch this fight, how crisp everything looked. This was a, a decent fight to me. Also, the whole force thing where they're one at one point, they're they're basically fighting in the force. I guess they're fighting on Kijimi. Then they're fighting in Kylo's quarters and they're fighting on Kijimi again, which one big polarizing thing that Brady pointed out in another video is that. Kylo doesn't know where Rey is, but he can see her using the dagger that was stashed on his ship. Um, but again, the sound design in this one, how crisp everything was. I I really I didn't hate this fight. Especially I like seeing Kylo finally duel with the helmet on. This is the first and only time we see Kylo fight with his saber against someone else with a saber in his helmet. With all those reasons, that one goes up here in C tier for me. Palpatine versus Yoda. The Jedi Grandmaster versus the Dark Lord of the Sith. What more do I have to say? This fight was great, especially in the Senate Chambers. And John Williams' score chills every single time. Right there in A tier. Grievous versus Obi-Wan. Now, I'll get some flack for this one. I'm not a fan of this one. While visually when Grievous is spinning his sabers and the meme, hello there. That's that's all fine and well, but to me it it it's it loses me when they start fighting and everything's just up close. You can't read what's going on. You can't see what's going on. It's random hit 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 and then Obi-Wan takes off one of Grievous's arms. Now I know it would be completely impossible for me to put together something like that, especially when it's like a seven foot tall rope CGI robot, right? Cool. Great. But it's, it's kind of just eh to me. My first prequel duel <laughs> that I'm putting down in D tier. I didn't like it at all. I, I, 
I, I didn't like it. Fight me. Um, Obi-Wan versus Vader, A New Hope. This one to me is a little, it's hard because it's technically the fourth time they had fought because you have once on Mustafar, twice during the Kenobi show, and now here. To me, it was, it would be, it was more impactful of us thinking that they hadn't seen each other for 19 years. Now, if Disney would just be like, hey, let's just put in that rework that a fan did and make that be the fight. Okay, cool, great. This one also being the first lightsaber duel of all time. Call me blinded by nostalgia, but the story behind it, the dialogue, Alec Guinness and the voice of James Earl Jones and Dave Prowse doing work. Come on, come on. Right there, I'm sorry. I, I have to put it in S tier. There'd be no lightsaber duels without this one. Okay, here we have Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon, Maul, Naboo. To me, this is chef's kiss. Amazing. Amazing. I don't... A lot of people disagree with me when I say Anakin versus... Or Obi-Wan versus Maul at the end of this is probably the best sequence ever. They disagree with me, but I, this is, this to me is top three lightsaber duels of all time, whether it be TV shows, animated, live action, this is top three for me. For that, it goes up in A tier. Luke versus Vader Bespin. Doesn't get better than this. It does, but only a little bit. The most iconic Star Wars line ever. I am your father. The big reveal in Star Wars. Vader toying with Luke. Luke thinking he has a chance, but then outsmarting Vader and then finally seeing Vader get pissed. Especially the part to me, I think the scariest part in the whole fight isn't when Vader pops out and starts swinging at Luke. No, it's when Vader lowers his saber and then just starts throwing stuff at Luke with the force. Watch that back, listen to the music and just how Vader's just standing there. And imagine it's you. That is the scariest thing ever. And that is why this one is in S tier. Now, Anakin versus Obi-Wan. Growing up as a prequel kid. Watching this movie a million times. This is amazing. There are things I would have changed about it. I do wish it was a bit more grounded, as in more punches, kicks, a little bit more dialogue here and there. Maybe Obi-Wan trying to talk to Anakin, but... Also, Anakin just, or Vader now just going right over his head. He does not care. He just watched Padme. He, he had to choke Padme. This is what I'm seeing. He choked Padme because he believed that she had turned against him for Obi-Wan and believed that Obi-Wan had turned her against him. He, he's, he's out for blood, especially the end of this fight that you were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. Oh, <sighs> it. Put it up there. S tier. Now, in my humble opinion, the greatest lightsaber duel of all time, a masterclass of Star Wars. Right here, Luke versus Vader, Return of the Jedi. It starts out with Luke not wanting to fight. Not wanting to fight, just confronting the Emperor, wanting to outsmart and wanting to be like, hey, you can't turn me to the dark side. And ends with Luke standing over his father's body with his dad's arm severed and him looking at his own hand being like, what the heck am I doing? And everything in between that, especially we visibly see Luke resisting the dark side when Vader is talking to him about his sister and he'll just go after her. To me, this is the best and most perfect fight in all of Star Wars. S tier. Well, that'll do it. Maybe I'll do one that has to do with live action fights in TV shows and whatnot. But this is my tier list. If you disagree, let me know down below. If you want to make one of your own, make one and then let me know on social my socials, which will be down below. I do want to do a couple other tier list, tier list videos. But um, yeah, there it is. 
like what you saw, want to see more, let me know down below, and I will see you all in the next one.